Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the if else statement. This video is in the continuation in the series of Java course 2023. So, what is if else statement in Java? These are con uh, the conditional statements. Means they execute based on some given conditions. So suppose there are uh, students in the class. How do you decide who are the intelligent student? How we generally decide? Okay, that the criteria may not be completely true, but still, we'd say if a student get the marks more than ninety percent, then that student is uh, very smart or very hard working, right? So what we can say, we can create a variable marks and uh, we can write uh, suppose 96 okay and then we can say if marks greater than 90 then print very hard working student okay very hard working student now what about the students who get more than 80% but less than 90% marks. What about them? So we can say then, okay, those students are also doing hard work but a bit of less. So they are very good students. Okay, something like that. You can give them outstanding grade or let let us give, give, give them the grades. So we can give them the grade as A plus grade. Okay. So this is how basically how if condition works so suppose if the condition is true we are getting the output now i change the marks to 66 let's see what the result is so if i change it to int marks equal to 66 nothing prints because this, this condition doesn't satisfy so in if condition in the if statement if the condition satisfies if the conditions result uh, returns true then only the control get inside it and the logic inside the if statement executes so now in the case of not execution of where this condition become false then something should be there which should reflect okay this has the condition is not satisfied that's why this is here so we can write else else statement is uh, executes only when the condition in the if doesn't execute so we can write less than less than a plus grade okay that's very uh, very obvious right so we can just run this one and we will get less than a plus grade now there can be multiple instances there are a grade b plus grade p grade c plus grade c grade and many other like that right you, you may have some type of grading system in your schools or colleges perfect so how to define them so for them we have else if statement so first is if statement second is else statement third is else if so we will discuss about else if so this is else and then we write if and we then say if marks is greater than 80 okay marks is greater than 80 and and marks is less than 90 okay or we can just uh, change it to equal to also so we have learnt about the AND operator in which both conditions should be true. It should be greater than or equal to 80 and it should be less than 90. In this case, we can say that this is a A grade. Right. So like this, we can uh, define for all other grades. Okay. Now you will ask then what is the use of this else and what is the difference between else if and else so else is the default else condition 
डिफॉल्ट एल्स कंडीशन मीन्स when there are a multiple else if condition where there are a multiple if and else if conditions and none of the condition inside them uh, is true then finally this else condition executes okay so if any of them executes the control moves out of the else if statement also in a if else uh, this system of statements there is only one if and one else in the if else statement and then you can have multiple else if to define more control okay also suppose you can have a nested if now what is a nested if that is if statement inside another if statement so here we have said that if marks is greater than equal to 90 system dot out dot print a plus grid we can also say if marks is greater than or you say marks is equal to equal to suppose 99 then you then you can write it's the student is topper something like that you can write inside this also so you will say that okay the student will get the a plus grade but the student is topper also so I, if I write 99 here and if you try to run this code then you will get the student is topper and A plus grade for that student like that. Okay, you understand this use case. So this is how if and else statement works in Java for executing certain conditions and we can we use this if else conditions in such cases. Right. Now there is one uh, another way in which if else statement is written and that way is called as ternary operator uh, just I mentioned here the name ternary operator okay now how this works it works like uh, suppose you first give the condition so you give a condition if marks greater than 90 okay you have given a condition marks greater than equal to 90 then you put a, a question mark now this question mark signifies that if marks is greater than 90 then what condition to write this implies condition now you write a condition then if marks is greater than then you write a plus grade else this is a less than a plus grade now this uh, condition also now this ternary operator returns something which needs to be stored so you need to store in a string called a string result okay so if if your condition is returning a string then you store it in a string if your condition is returning a integer in terms of integer if you are trying to uh, execute something or return something then you have to take a the variable of uh, what you have to take a variable of integer so if i print result here then we get okay i just remove this one for for, for a time being and just run this so you can see that you have a plus grade here right you can also have multiple uh, operator like this so if you write string result equal to marks marks greater than equal to 90 if marks greater than 90 then print a plus grade else now this uh, colon represents else okay so after else you can again write a condition like marks greater than or marks greater than greater than equal to 80 and then marks less than 90 then you can write then 
देन प्रिंट ए ग्रेड ए ग्रेड एल्स प्रिंट वेरी लेस ग्रेड ओके समथिंग लाइक दैट सो ओके आई टेक इट इन मे बी रिजल्ट वन ओके सो इफ यू ट्राई टू प्रिंट रिजल्ट वन देन वॉट वी सी लेट सी वॉट वी गेट करंटली इट इज ए प्लस बिकॉज आई हैव मेड नाइनटी नाइन लेट मी पुट इट एटी नाइन ओके नाउ लेट सी हाउ इट वर्क सो इट्स गिविंग अस ए ग्रेड सो वॉट हाउ इट इज चेकिंग इज फर्स्ट इट चेक्स ओके मार्क्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू नाइनटी नो एटी नाइन इज नॉट ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू नाइनटी सो इट कम्स टू एल्स पार्ट after colon it does, doesn't look for this one it comes here in the else part it's written that if marks is greater than equal to 80 and and marks is less than 90 so 89 is greater than 80 and less than 90 so the first if or the first condition here executes so we can do nested if else in the using ternary operator also in many cases this is a very short way to write and very useful and very readable okay so i hope you understand about the if else st statement and how we can use conditions in java to execute a particular block of code right so this was all about the if else and conditions in java in the next video we will cover some a uh, new way of a new condition conditional in java which is a switch case statement for different scenarios so till then bye bye